Hey everyone, Dominic here. I want to talk for a minute about prayer fasting. Um, this is a spiritual practice that we see all throughout Scripture, right? Like David, Esther, uh, the New Testament church, Jesus, the whole nation of Israel, they practice prayer fasting. Simply put, prayer fasting is um, the deliberate abstinence from food in order to commune with and rely on God through deliberate focused prayer. And the idea is this, that the, the, the physical hunger we experience while fasting would remind us that we will never be fully filled or fully satisfied here on earth until Jesus returns and fully establishes his kingdom. And what I wanna talk about specifically is that fasting often leads to freedom. We see this in this story in Mark chapter nine where Jesus encounters this uh, father who has a son and his son is demonized with a mute and deaf spirit and this uh, evil spirit inside of him throws him into the fire trying to kill him throwing him into the water, trying to kill him. And the father is overwhelmed. He's crying. He's on his knees. He's like, Jesus, please help. Not just my son. He's like, please help me. Help us. Help our family. And uh, previously, this father had asked the disciples, um, can you guys do something about this? Because probably he knew they had, they had power to do this. Jesus had given them authority to cast out demons. But when the disciples came up against this one, they had no power over it. And then Jesus comes along and he, he casts out the demon. And afterwards, the disciples are like, Jesus, we don't get it, man. We, we've already been doing this um, without you, just like you told us we, we could. We, you told us we had authority. We've been experiencing that authority. And now we show up, we do the same stuff we've been doing and it didn't work. But then you show up and it works. Like, what is this? And here's what Jesus doesn't say. Jesus does not say, oh yeah, yeah, this is, just, this is a Messiah thing. Only Messiah can, can do this. That's never the tone and tenor of what we see Jesus saying in, in the gospels. He's never like, oh yeah, yeah, this is my thing, but you, you can't do that. He's always like, no, 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 you're gonna do even greater things than this. And so he didn't say to them, oh, this kind only is cast out when I show up in a special way. He said, this kind only comes out by prayer and fasting. And what we see there is that apparently Jesus had already been praying and fasting. And he's saying to them, if you would have been praying and fasting before you got here, then you would have had a different and better experience when you dealt with this demon. And what we see there is Jesus saying that there are some strongholds that can only be torn down, torn down through the spiritual practice of prayer fasting. God is moving right now. He's moving in our midst. Even if you can't see him doing it, he is on the move. He is uh, saving people. There is a rumbling under the ground that is happening in the spiritual realm. Um, I really believe that people are gonna, you know, from our family is gonna start calling us, texting us randomly. You're gonna start having dreams about people getting saved. I believe God's doing this. And he's gonna keep doing it no matter if we're involved or not. But here's the deal. God really likes to involve us. And he doesn't want us sitting on the sidelines like the disciples had to do that day because they were ill-prepared. So I'm encouraging you, I'm inviting you along with the Holy Spirit to begin practicing this uh, practice of prayer fasting. You don't have to do a 40-day fast like Jesus. Man, start with a meal. Start with uh, joining us on, on Tuesday, this Tuesday, um, tomorrow. Uh, for a 24-hour prayer fast as a church where we're, where we're gonna be fasting food and praying all day. We're doing it at prayer meetings at 7 a.m., um, at 12 noon, and at 7 p.m. Let's respond to the invitation of God to prepare ourselves for the harvest that is coming and for the strongholds that will be broken through this practice of prayer fasting.